Ik dan. De litje. Wauw. Dit is nice. Break check. Break check. But this is a Suzuki Samurai 1.9 turbo diesel. Very rare European version. Extended cab, extended model. Unbelievable. And then there's the other one, the Suzuki. Uh, in America, called the Samurai. In uh, Europe, it is called the Vitara. That's why later on, uh, in America, when they upgraded the Vitara, they called it a Super Vitara. And then this one here is a um vitara jlx this is the top of the line model and this is the isuzu trooper discontinued we had one of those 98 this one's got trippy bumps the museum is closed on tuesday oh please stay away from you never know if it's in the museum. Our local guide will know Corina, but um, it's a traveling one. I was a little off. What was your name? I'm sorry. Tamara. Tamara. <laughs> Not today, but Tamara. <laughs> Same joke. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lucky thing not manana. <laughs> Restrooms are here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See this right here is tequila. But means the ticket. And in Mexican it means the liquor. <laughs> 17th century. The farm, as you know it today, was built between the years of 1846 and 1848. What you're about to see is rudimentary machinery coming from this period. They were not used here. We had a bit more, more than machinery. But you can just see how it was done with the means of the 19th century. Of course, I try to compare with the means used today. Technology is everything to us, and we're focusing to the control of quality. Museo de la Cultura de Alevo, Hacienda La Laguna. As we enter La Laguna, <laughs> they, are not. they are all supposed to be male. Wow. And here, you may think about the blossoming time, full out of bees all around, and it's not. You have to think that we call this the humanized forest, because everything is done by hand. Let me tell you a bit about the lifetime of an olive tree here. Probably you will take my 1997, these olive trees are... It's only a light comparison for you to understand that. How a new tree is grown. We have a healthy cutting from an old tree and we plant it on the pot and we, we, we need to wait for around five years. Wow. More or less like a child to be independent. We have factories of olive trees. It is greenhouses that are going to take care of the new branches for those five years.
Then we take them to the fields, but we plant them next to an older tree. Probably on your way here, you, sh you saw that there was an old tree and smaller ones uh -huh. with a blue net all around. Yes. Yeah. They're trying to avoid that the animals are going to eat them. Oh. Is that why, is that why when, like coming here, yeah. the, olive, the olive grows, they grow like three branches, yeah. is that mm. why? This is not natural. Oh. The human kind always thinks that we are clever than natural, more but natural. we're not. Mm -hmm. And instead of planting one cutting of a tree in the space for one, it was in the beginning of the 20th century that someone decided to plant three branches in the same wow. space for only one tree. It's easy to do the count three times the fruit you will be coming from that tree. But he didn't count on the force of the soil. It's the same. It doesn't matter if it is one of three. And Today, to do the harvesting is really difficult for us to do that. We usually use machinery that is embracing the trunk, vibrating mm. it a bit, softly, and they have an umbrella turned upside down to receive the fruit. We cannot do that if we have planted years ago three different trees. We need to save right into the middle of the tree. So we need to find many different varieties that are milder and that can be used, for example, to do bakery. Today, we're going to look for many different ranges of tastes and smell. But back to that period, they were only looking for money. This way, they could not lose the investing they have done. I just passed the fruits to you so you can have a, a look to that. Okay? And well, we're here. Yeah. Questions? Yeah, what's the, the extra variety? Oh, yeah. all, things. Yeah. Yeah, all the things. Yeah, let me take you to the first room to talk about machinery, and then I will tell you about the different and qualities the and the yeah. pricing yeah. that I know that this is interesting for you. I have a question. Yeah. You know, after five years, you put the baby tree with the adult tree, right? Yeah. It is at that point that that tree begins to talk back to the adult tree. The thing is that they can tutorize a bit the trees that we've got. And we never replace a tree unless it's dead. So if it is pretty old, like for example 120 years old, yes. we will never replace that. Wow. I'll tell you why. It's like a humankind. What happened to us after 50s, more or less? We've got all the experience on our back, but the energy is coming in a lower degree each time. Uh. All the tree is the same. By one side, we've got the huge profitability from a young tree, around 30 liters per year. And on the other hand, we've got the old trees that are going to have really extraordinary tastes, but not that huge quantity of 30 liters each. So that's the right balance to find. Ah, Just the donkeys are here, and they're pushing so here. Ah, ah. Everything was done by hand. This is an aqueduct right here for irrigation. It's not a bridge. Smart. From Romans, they learned this aqueducting. Not cold, not hot. 
So the kitchen is not the best place where to keep your motherboard. Uh -huh. A cupboard or a wardrobe. Hey. Uh -huh. Totally isolated should be the best place because you can maintain these conditions at the best, okay? Now we're going to taste different varieties of olive oils. Regarding the they are the same. Extra virgin or more spicy. I would place the bread here because this way you can have the tasties in the right way. If you start over from here, from the blue one, you will only have the explosive taste of our local variety. Ah. Okay? I would pour some. So for mild to a little bit spicier to baboom. Well, not that much, probably. <laughs> uh -huh. You will see that after some seconds, your throat goes like... <clears throat> uh -oh. <laughs> and we should talk about dressing too. For example, our local variety tastes a lot like tomato. So for only a tomato salad, you can use this type of olive oil and it's enough to have the taste you're looking for. What about if you're looking, thank you so much. Sure. What about if you're doing a tropical salad, including pineapple or even avocado? You've got really strong tastes already, so you should find another mild type of variety so you cannot make boom in your mouth Ooh, when you're tasting that. We like boom. <laughs> well, wow. it's totally depend on you. Yeah. And for bakery, the also all one we've got here is named Arbequina. So that's the one, okay? Now, it's time for you to do the most interesting part of this too, that is to have the taste of our fields right in your mouth. Thank you so much for your attention. It has the pleasure to have you here. And yeah, ask questions? Um, what about, like they say, the first cold press? Yeah, today is a fallacy because we are obliged to do only cold press. It's not even press, it's extraction. No, 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 no. The name no, we've got. No, no, no. We never go up or higher than any. What is your impression, Pam? It's compulsory by law. If you do a set construction, like. <laughs> then this is not the natural olive oil. The one that is no extra nor virgin. Okay? And then Just going to try the kaboom. Yeah. Mild. <laughs> so Bill says this is mild, but it is the strongest and the most common in the region. <laughs> so Pam, Pam tried the, 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 the mild one already. Alan's going to try the mild one. And Pam with the kaboom. My, that's the strongest. Strong. No, it's not really strong. Okay. I gotta see because um, before I eat this thing, I gotta make sure I'm not gonna end up in a hospital. Do it light and then what? That is the mildest. It's the mild. Medium and then kaboom. Medium. Yeah, then the kaboom. Cindy, wow, that one. Try. This is the kaboom. No. 